Pistachios are a unique crop in that they require a very specific climate in order to grow commercially. In essence, they need an irrigated desert, which obviously limits the regions of the world in which they can grow. Pistachios originated in Persia and are now grown commercially in the United States, Turkey, Syria, and Iran. Commercial production first began in California in the 1970s, and the San Joaquin Valley's combination of climate and water infrastructure has allowed the pistachio industry to thrive here. The San Joaquin Valley now represents approximately 60% of global production and has proven to be the only region capable of gaining market share globally due to its unique climate and water infrastructure. When we look at permanent crop investment opportunities from a top-down perspective, we want to see a combination of robust demand trends and some limiting factor in supply. You see that with pistachios, as global per capita consumption has increased by 5% on average annually over the last 20 years. Encouragingly, per capita consumption is the highest in developed countries, such as the United States and in the European Union. This presents a large runway for continued global demand growth as emerging markets such as India and China see increased per capita consumption. When you look at global supply, Middle Eastern producers generally lack the surface water availability and are facing depleting aquifers for groundwater. This has led to Middle Eastern producers consistently losing market share over the last decade. Conversely, California has steadily added supply, going from 20% of global market share to over 60% in the last decade. But there's an important cap to further increases in California's production due to the implementation of the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act, which is commonly referred to as SIGMA. SIGMA was passed in 2014 and is being implemented now. This is the first groundwater regulation the state of California has ever faced, and it is meant to limit overdraft and bring California's groundwater aquifers into a sustainable state of balance. While there are still a lot of unknowns to the implementation, it is clear that in the central and southern San Joaquin Valley, which is the heart of global pistachio production, we will see farmland forced to fallow some production. In the San Joaquin Valley, farmland can receive water in two forms, surface water and groundwater. Surface water deliveries come in the form of historical appropriative rights delivered to an established irrigation district. The quality and reliability of these surface water rights vary and meaningfully impact land values. If farmland sits outside of an irrigation district, that means it is wholly reliant on groundwater. This land is commonly referred to as white space. The critical point here is that approximately 25% of the planted pistachio acreage in California sits in these white spaces. So not only will the implementation of groundwater regulation limit the amount of bearing acreage, it is likely to pull a meaningful amount of supply off the market. Pistachio orchards that sit in irrigation districts with sufficient senior surface water rights should be well positioned in this post-sigma world. Pistachio prices have increased by 10% on average annually over the last 20 years. And when you combine the mid-single digit demand growth that we have seen historically with this upcoming limit to supply, it paints a favorable picture for future pricing growth for this high value crop. You can find more information on global pistachio trends in the Learning Center on our website. As always, please do not hesitate to reach out to our investor relations or farm team for any further questions. Thank you.